today I wanted to talk about I want to talk about this the clicks on that's a brand name that when you say clicks on it's just like saying Freon or maybe like saying Kleenex they're brand names what it actually is it's an overload it is an overload for the compressor we see them on compressors all the time and we know of course that a compressor is going to have your three connections on it like this this top connection a lot of times happens to be the common connection from here what happens is it comes out and it goes to the clicks on the clicks on it is like I said it is going to be just an overload so it's going to have a set of contacts here set of contacts here and internally what happens is it comes through like this and it has a heater inside from here it's going to go back on out and of course it's going to go back out to wherever power came from let's say in this example L1 so we know that power of course comes in here comes in here but let's talk about this one because this is where the clicks on would be now on here there is a bimetallic disc like this all of this is inside of that little black piece and what happens is as the amperage goes through here it goes through that little heater and then back on out what happens there is as the amperage increases anytime amperage increases two things change first of all the strength of the magnetic field is going to go up we'll get to that another day we'll talk about that another day but the strength of the magnetic field goes up the other thing that happens is the amount of heat the amount of heat goes up now we said that there was a small heater in here in this disc this is a bimetallic disc right there that's connecting this and connecting this other point as the amperage goes up the heat goes up the heat increases and this disc is actually going to bend down like this breaking the connections right here once it breaks the connections then power can no longer go through the compressor shuts down and it does not work now remember this clicks on is designed to generate a specific amount of heat a specific amount of heat at specific amperage so if you have the wrong clicks on you know, in other words you have the wrong overload then it's not going to open up like it's supposed to the bob metallic disc is going to stay made also the other thing I wanted to point out was that a, what a bimetallic metallic disc is is when they take two pieces of metal and they press them together once they press them together what happens is now as it heats up one of these is going to heat up faster than the other and when that happens it bends like this as the amperage goes up heat increases and it bends so this is going to bend down and once it bends now it opens up if you have the wrong clicks on or let's say the wrong overload on here it may trip out too soon so now your compressor is not going to work because of the amperage draw it may be the correct amperage draw for the compressor but if the wrong clicks on so it's going to open up too soon that compressor is not going to run on the other hand if you get one that is too big let's say then it's going to open up it's going to need more amperage before it opens up when that happens is the amperage of the compressor is going to go up and past the dangerous levels let's say once it goes up to past the dangerous levels this should open but because this, this is designed for a larger compressor this is not going to open up which means that the windings that you have inside of this compressor here those windings will burn up once those windings burn up your compressor is not good anymore so keep this in mind your clicks on all it is like I said it's an overload another thing I wanted to point out is can you bypass this well of course you can but should you bypass it now one thing that I have done in the past is I have taken and just hooked up a wire from this side over to this other side why well 
to see if by bypassing this, I can make that compressor run. If it runs, then I know that it is the overload that's opened up. So by putting a jumper across here, then that should run. If you put a jumper here and it does not run, then there's a problem internal with this compressor. Could be that you have maybe an open winding here or here, you know, it. so now your compressor is not gonna run. Now, this, other than putting the jumper on there, could you check to see what the continuity is? Now remember, continuity, we're just checking to see if there's a connection from one side to the other side. So if we check it with our continuity tester and we hear that sound, that beeping sound, we know that this is good. But if you can still jump it out, just to test it out. So again, this, you can jump it out temporarily just to see if it's open or test it with your continuity tester or with your ohm meter. With your ohm meter. If there is no resistance, then that means that it is closed and that's what you want. If there's infinite resistance, or in other words, what some people will say, OL, then you know that that's open. OL, what does that mean? Open line, open lead. It just depends on how you want to say it, but basically this means that your, whatever it is that you're checking is open and nothing is going to get through. I hope this explained a little bit about the clicks on, about the overload, how to test it, what to look for, what it does, and basically how it works. Please like the video, check me out on YouTube and here on Facebook. Again, this is Julio from Aircon Academy. Thank you.